Hello there YouTube, my name is UberAgent and I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary video and today I got Team Fortress 2 on the map, I don't know, using the Liberty Launcher and I uh, have the disciplinary action. So okay, uh, I haven't made a video in a while, it's my summertime, I've just been chilling, haven't really been feeling like making a commentary but uh, once my school year starts, I'm probably going to be making one once a week, and I know that sounds kind of weird, it's like, hey, when school starts, you're less busy, but yeah, no, I, I kind of, it, it's something to do when I'm bored, because right now in the summer, I don't really get bored that often, because I have my friends over all the time, and we're going to the beach and stuff, and, oh, if you guys, I live in SoCal, so, if you guys are wondering if I have an accent, I don't know if I have an accent, uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Southern Californian accent, if there is one. Uh, that's why I go to the beach a lot. I don't really know how to surf or boogie board or whatever you want to call it, bodyboarding. But uh, I just like chilling at the beach, hanging out with friends, going, getting food late at night and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, sorry about not making a video, but I am going to focus on Team Fortress 2 when I come back into it. I'm going to come back hard. And keep going and keep going and keep going. So uh, yeah, okay. The Liberty Launcher. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. That was just weird. The Liberty Launcher. It shoots rockets faster. You get one less though. I think it's better than the original one, which is just the standard. So yeah, that that's better. The one rocket. It, it's I sometimes notice it, but really it shoots so fast that it kind of makes up for it. So. Yeah, that's that. And the disciplinary action, uh, I think the equalizer is still better because you, one, you have to have people around you to use it, and two, it doesn't work if there's nobody around you. Okay, that's the same thing, but if, if you have low health, it, you're probably still gonna die, I think. And what the equalizer does is when you have low health, but okay, the lower your health, the faster you can run. Which means if you're in a sticky situation, that's what she said, uh, you can just hit, pull out the equalizer, and you will be able to just run away. But with this, you have to have your teammates around you, and it takes a little more coordination to use. But it is really good in the beginning of a, like a five, a five CP game. Uh, so to get to the middle point, that's what I'm trying to say. I couldn't think of it. So yeah, like here, I keep trying to help the heavy out, cause just for the sake of using it. But <laughs> I don't think he really cared, nor did it help me either. Well, help me get to here faster, but this server has a lot of time and it's a lot of people, so I don't really make that much of a difference. So anyways, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Borderlands lately. The game has been fun. I think I already mentioned that. But uh, yeah, that game has been fun. Oh no, I haven't. Okay, so I've been playing a lot of Borderlands. I'm going to get the Game of the Year edition. If any of you guys have Borderlands, leave it in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about it and uh, how long the game was for you and... If you guys think it was a good game or you're just your opinions on the game because I recently got Red Dead Redemption for my Xbox and it's just a slow paced game like the story moves slowly and you move slowly and the world is so big but there's kind of nothing to do like the hunting was cool at first and then I got bored of it but my point is I, I just got bored of that game and I really don't like long games long games that take a lot of time and preparation and stuff like that. That's why I would never get um, a Fallout game. Because although I think they look badass and they look pretty cool, and if you were to get into it, it would be really nifty, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, but yeah, I, I don't think I would put too much time into a game like that. I would just get bored of it. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have that, tell me. And uh, I recently just got Left 4 Dead 2, which is freaking sweet, but my computer sucks, so it looks like crap. I won't bring a gameplay of that ever. Unless you guys really, really, really want to see how bad it is. Maybe I'll just make a video showing you a bunch of, like, assorted games and how bad they look on my computer. Like, Call of Duty and uh, Left 4 Dead, just to show you how bad they look. But the gameplay is still solid on my computer. It doesn't, it doesn't lag. It just looks really bad. So, yeah, that's that. If you guys want to play with me on that... Uh, Tell me your Steam ID and I'll add you. And I want to play because I haven't played with anybody I know on that game yet. So, yeah, that's been a lot of fun. New thing on, uh, I don't know if it's just Team Fortress 2 right now, but uh, there's Steam trading in which you can 
you can trade an in-game item for an, an actual like full re retail game. And I know a stutter there. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> but uh, you can trade a hat from Team Fortress 2 for a game like Left 4 Dead, which is I I don't know. I I would never trade. I would never be the one giving the game away. Is that what I, that's what I'm trying to say. I think that's kind of weird, but hey, if you guys want to do that, <laughs> I'm up for it. I'll trade you all my hats for for Borderlands right now. <laughs> If you're up for it, I I, I just think that's kind of a weird weird idea. I can't talk right now, but I do think it's a better idea instead of paying Steam for a hat. You're actually giving somebody a game, so it's mutually beneficial for two people instead of just one. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, Call of Duty, and I know a lot of you guys get mad. Or not really mad, just you guys just are sick of Call of Duty commentaries or you have plenty of other commentaries commentators to do commentaries of Call of Duty that you're subscribed to, so uh, I'm never gonna bring that, but I just wanna mention the fact that uh what's it? The Call of Duty resurrection map pack for Black Ops is gonna come out at the end of August or something like that. And it's gonna have the all the old World at War maps. I never played World at War, so I'm thinking about getting that. And plus, it's gonna have that one new one, the new. So uh, that should be pretty cool. That'll be the only map pack that I've even thought about buying for Call of Duty Black Ops. Cause uh, with uh, what's it? Modern Warfare 2. I bought all the packs, and it was fun. But I didn't really play on the new maps that much, so I didn't want to. Uh, invest in Black Ops that much and then not play him. Especially since I, I haven't played Black Ops that much, even total. I only have like two days played and I know that's kind of a lot of time, but I did those two days like in the first month I got it, which is really sad to be honest. Well, actually, no, I did that the first, from the time I got it until the end of my winter break. That's how much time I put into it, about two days. And um, I really haven't played it since, so yeah, because only pretty much only because my friends don't like it and if my friends don't like it it's not that fun to play by yourself in Call of Duty games to be honest to me just that's just to me it's not like a Team Fortress 2 where I could play by myself all the time well that sounded really sexual but <laughs> let's just move on uh, another big thing I saw yesterday was the what's it, Modern Warfare 3 uh, survival trailer yeah that's what it was so that's the new survival mode in Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3. I, I'm blanking on the names. I just want to. I'm just gonna say MW3 from now on. So on the new MW3, there's gonna be uh, a point system instead of a kill streak system. Hopefully that works. Like the the uh, I know I'm saying a lot, but sorry about that. It's gonna. I think it's gonna work like the home front system, which is it. You get the points, and even if you die, you still keep racking up the points. Or I think it's money in that game. I don't have that game, but I, I know it's a good system they had going, and all the games are doing that now. Like Section 8 Prejudice, they had the, the money system where as you go doing different things, you get points or money or whatever you want to call it. So I think that's going to be a huge improvement on the game. It, I, it'll prevent people from wanting to stay alive forever, for long periods of time, pretty much. Because that was that's a huge problem with Call of Duty, and uh, I really hope they tackle the last stand issue and just make all the perks balance. Because I don't want another ghost perk where everybody uses ghosts and it pretty much renders a lot of the kill streaks useless, which is bullshit. I, I don't know Treyarch should have thought about that more. Because pretty much, yeah, stopping power was pretty much the only perk you used. But uh, I didn't think stopping power was an overpowered perk, and I use cold blood and other things in in uh, Modern Warfare 2, MW2, sorry, whatever. Uh, so I I don't know. I, I think they need to work on the balancing of perks more. But hopefully, Sledgehammer grabbed Call of Duty by the balls and they're like, "Hey, fuck you. We're gonna fix you up." And uh. <laughs> Yeah, I hope they they did that cuz it really it's time for the Call of Duty to be fixed. Uh the next thing I want to talk about was the Star Wars bundle thing. And this is a perfect example of why the the console companies are just greedy as hell. I don't even know what they're thinking. 
So first of all, they have a this this Star Wars console which looks freaking sweet. And if I could buy it, I would. Actually, no, I wouldn't. If it was really, if it was like a normal price, but it's an R2D2 looking con uh, console. I'll put it in the video with a C3PO controller, and it looks freaking sweet because I like Star Wars, and I'm kind of a Star Wars nerd. But not really, I'm not that big into Star Wars, but I have loved Star Wars for a really long time. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But the thing is, it's a Kinect bundle, which makes it like, okay, uh, I don't really care for the Kinect. And not only that, it, it comes with a, a really shitty game. Well, that's my prediction for the game. It's probably going to be shit. So you would think it's geared towards like a not really a hardcore gamer, but then they put a 320 gigabyte hard drive on it, so... I don't e I don't even know what they're thinking with that to be honest. 320 gigabytes, cause I think the max before was like 120. Oh, well, actually no, I'm probably wrong on that. But who needs 320 gigabytes on a freaking console? Like, it should just be a computer if they're gonna do that. So I don't know what Microsoft is thinking there, and that's pretty much the gist of why I really hate consoles lately, as of lately. Okay, the benefits are though that they're cheaper to buy and um, more people have them because they're cheaper to buy so There's I guess it's the same thing lines, guys. and I, I do like the controllers to be honest more than the PC well as of lately I've been getting really used to the PC controls but yeah the console controllers are they're pretty good I think PlayStation is better and I don't even have a PlayStation but yeah and another thing is like the the friend list and the party chat I think it's they just mainstreamed it better on the, the consoles than they do on Steam, to be honest. But uh, that, that's just me. I'm not that handy with Steam yet. But the, the thing is, though, everything is cheaper on the PC. So if I wanted to get Borderlands on my Xbox, it could be like $20. And um, if I wanted it on my PC, I know I could get it for, I think, $7, $7 on Amazon. So th what's the deal with that? I they're just so damn greedy. I don't even know what's wrong with them. So, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I know I've been gone for a really long time. I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, please leave uh, feedback because I really want to get feedback on this video, positive and negative. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you guys didn't, then, you know, you don't have to dislike the button. You don't, you don't, you don't have to do anything. J just walk away from the video, and uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.